Uh, we'll do a Mad Schultz faction mission. Proof of life. Talk to Mad Schultz. So obviously he's an error one. Let's see what he's got for us to do now. Everything okay? I thought we'd have more time. What happened? Captain Coleman made her move. Earlier than I thought. Earlier than we were prepared for. This is Hector Harris. We found him collapsed in the woods about a mile from Arrow One. Wilderness would have taken him if we hadn't lucked upon him. The homestead Hector lives on got raided. We were just sitting down to eat when I heard your trucks. Mmm, smells good, baby. <laughs> you wanna say grace? Boy. Boy. Good evening. You get turned around somewhere? Oh, we're exactly where we need to be. The whole family here? This here's an invitation-only dinner. You're gonna make this easy for me. This is my home! Look, you... Dad! Dad! Like I said, very easy. Those two. Deal with him! Leave him alone! Mom! Mom! Take care of the others. I just ran. I mean, I left them and ran away. There's no shame in surviving. Don't forget that. I ran when they took my mother, Mads. That's what I won't forget. It's worse than I feared. They're trying to exterminate us. You need to get all the homesteaders back to Air One. The Harris's place is right next to where Kyle and Layla live with Emmett. They could be next. Not if I can help it. Not if I can help it. Check the homesteaders. Uh, do I reach the summer's homestead? Fenborg, so for summer swamp. Summer swamp. Summer's homestead. Basically, right underneath the M. Alright, as close can we get? Oh, look, Harris Forest, my favourite. Um, over there, we can just hike across the Open. If we go by the main road, the chances are if there is enemies there, they're going to be more congregated around there. Well, it's like you're running into trouble and all going cross country or through the swamp. Badly, then it's a fucking fence post. <laughs> well, some of the baddies are planks, but not quite that literal. Well, I can't, I can't put a saddle on a pig and ride it to the objective. 
Oh, no more good teeth. I thought there was a run full pellet and drop the batteries. Bikes. Bike might be handy. There's one. Take the ride. I'll find my own. Fucking hell. <laughs> I don't realize this is a fucking electric bike. There's nothing to see. Some bloke on a bike that I can't fucking control. Get out! Definitely looks like the valleys are here anyway. So the place is on fire. Are there any enemies here or have they already been and gone? I don't know, there's some baddies here. Rifleman, rifleman. Well, mark for heavy because I get rid of heavy first is always handy. Good to go. Another heavy. Not too much of a problem. I'll get rid of the ones that are pain in the ass first, really. Roger, move ahead. Two, I can see on that side. So. Ready, go, sleep. Okay. Don't shoot me, mate. I ain't ready to shoot yet. Get a bit closer. This place has seen better days. I mean, perfect place to get on top of that would have been. Shit. Ah, heavy. I think it fucking is, isn't it? Yep. Get rid of the rifleman. Get rid of him instead. It's always good to get your teammates to take out the heavies because they take two shots for me, but my mates can take one and one. Only problem is now that they're going to know that something's going on because they've just got people died all around them. There's something still out there, like I can hear him talking. Whereabouts though? What the hell are they? Bloody house. Yeah. Two people. Okay. Switching the night vision. Don't 
not sure if they'll kill or if one of them gets hit. So we use a sink shot drone on the other one to make sure they both die roughly the same time. I'll tell you what to do, clear hot just in case there's anyone left. You lot can take them out. Shouldn't be anything to collect here because I've already collected everything the first time I came here. Uh, no, do not swap. Wait, but I want a fucking untire. Thank you. You're right. They took them. Really? Kyle, and met the others we were with. They threw them in the back of a truck and drove them off. All right, come on. Let's get you to Air One. Good idea. We can use that chopper we found it earlier. Better just make sure she's following me. Yeah, she is. Come on, love, get on. How oh, far is Pippi there? Looks like we're gonna go over that mountain, so we're gonna have to get some height up. If they wanted them dead, they'd have shot them there. Do you know where they went? No. No, I don't. Should be higher than that. Why didn't they take me? They looked at some document and separated us. It didn't make any sense. Let's just get you to safety. No. No, I can't. I can't leave here without them. Layla, listen, there is nothing you can do from here. Hey, you know they'd tear each other apart if they thought you weren't safe. I'm gonna find whoever did this and tear them apart. Yeah, we both will. I just remembered. When they were sorting us, one of the soldiers pointed at me and said type 2. It's probably nothing, but I have type 2 diabetes. But that couldn't be why we were taken, right? It doesn't make any sense. I don't think we can rule anything out. I don't have a better theory. Yeah, well, it doesn't feel right to be here with you while my boys are God knows where. Yeah, yeah, my family's back stateside. They don't even know if I'm alive. Life is harsh, huh? I can say that again. Layla, good to see you got out in one piece. Where are the boys? Taken. They were taken. We don't know where, but we'll find out. Listen, Mads, they sorted through the people, and they had a list. Took some, left others. Why would they do that? All I know is it's goddamn ominous, to say the least. Too bloody true. Well, that was that one done anyway, that was a nice, quick, easy one. <laughs>